Hey there, young explorers of the math world. Ready to dive into cool math challenges? Dive right into our Math Quiz for Kids channel for some exciting math challenges. And if you're ready for the fun, give us a thumbs up and subscribe right away. Are you ready? So, let's go. Question one. Six times seven equals what? So the answer is six times seven is 42. To calculate, we have six groups with seven balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 42 balls. Question two, six times six equals what? So the answer is six times six is 36. To calculate, we have six groups with six balls each one. So how many balls do we have are 36 balls. Question three, four times nine equals what? So the answer is four times nine is 36. To calculate, we have four groups with nine balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 36 balls. Question four, eight times five equals what? So the answer is eight times five is 40. To calculate, we have eight groups with five balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 40 balls. Question five, three times eight equals what? So the answer is E three times eight is 24. To calculate, we have three groups with eight balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 24 balls. Question six, eight times seven equals what? So the answer is eight times seven is 56. To calculate, we have eight groups with seven balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 56 balls. Question seven, three times one equals what? So the answer is three times one is three. To calculate, we have three groups with one balls each one. So how many balls do we have? Three balls. Question eight, six times eight equals what?
So the answer is 6 times 8 is 48. To calculate, we have 6 groups with 8 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 48 balls. Question 9. 3 times 4 equals what? So, the answer is 3 times 4 is 12. To calculate, we have 3 groups with 4 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 12 balls. Question 10. 9 times 7 equals what? So the answer is 9 times 7 is 63. To calculate, we have 9 groups with 7 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 63 balls. Question 11. 3 times 2 equals what? So the answer is 3 times 2 is 6. To calculate, we have 3 groups with 2 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 6 balls. Question 12. 9 times 3 equals what? So the answer is 9 times 3 is 27. To calculate, we have 9 groups with 3 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 27 balls. Question 13. 2 times 6 equals what? So, the answer is 2 times 6 is 12. To calculate, we have 2 groups with 6 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 12 balls. Question 14. 3 times 3 equals what? So the answer is 3 times 3 is 9. To calculate, we have 3 groups with 3 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 9 balls. Question 15. 6 times 9 equals what? So, the answer is 6 times 9 is 54. To calculate, we have 6 groups with 9 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 54 balls. Question 16. 
Nine times nine equals what? So the answer is, nine times nine is 81. To calculate, we have nine groups with nine balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 81 balls. Question 17, three times five equals what? So the answer is three times five is 15. To calculate, we have three groups with five balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 15 balls. Question 18, five times eight equals what? So the answer is five times eight is 40. To calculate, we have five groups with eight balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 40 balls. Question 19. Four times five equals what? So the answer is four times five is 20. To calculate, we have four groups with five balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 20 balls. Question 20. Two times two equals what? So the answer is two times two is four. To calculate, we have two groups with two balls each one. So how many balls do we have? Four balls. How many did you get right? We bet you did awesome. Remember, practice makes perfect. Don't forget to click the like button if you had fun and subscribe so you can join us for even more math quiz adventures. Let's keep the math magic alive.